Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to have a brief tutorial we're going to talk about. Let's say you've got your Arduino and you have uploaded a program and you got it to work and everything's fine and you've used it. And let's say you put the Arduino aside for a while and then later on you pick it up and you say, hey, wait a minute, what was that sketch that I uploaded and was using on this particular Arduino? And you can't remember what it was, and there's really no good way to find out what sketch has been uploaded to this. And it gets even worse if you got multiple Arduinos using lots of different sketches. It's really difficult to figure out what the sketch was on each Arduino. So what we're going to do in this video is show you a very, very simple way to get information on command from the Arduino that tells you what the sketch is, what the sketch does, and that kind of thing. So here we are with a very simple sketch, and we're going to use this to allow us to get that information from the Arduino. So we're going to start out, we've got an analog pin A0, and basically what we're going to do in this sketch is just grab a reading from this A0 pin, and we're also going to get information on what the sketch is. We're going to have a string called receive string, and then with the void setup, we're just going to set up the USB serial COM port with a serial begin with 9600 baud. And we're going to set the pin mode for this analog pin A0 is going to be an input pin so we can read from it. So what we're going to do in the loop is we're going to listen to commands coming over the USB serial COM port, maybe from your computer software or from the serial monitor or whatever. And it's going to wait to see if serial data is available on the USB COM port coming into the Arduino. And if there's serial data available, what we're going to do is we're going to first do a serial.readString until and read whatever data is up until the first new line character, which is this. So our receive string is whatever data has come from the computer software over the USB with a terminator of a new line character. Now, in this case, we're going to say if that receive string starts with a C, and you can use whatever character you want, I'm just going to choose a C. If we get a C from the computer over the USB, what we're going to do is we're going to do a serial.print line and send this string back to the computer over the USB serial COM port. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, the sketch name is Arduino Standard, and that's the name of this sketch you can see up here colon, this is what it does. It reads the A0 pin whenever it receives an L command. So anytime it receives a C command from the computer, it spits out this information about the name of the sketch and what it does. However, else if receive string starts with an L, which means like you, you want it to log some data from the A0 pin, then it's going to run this grab sample and send method down here. And all that does is it says, do an analog read to that A, analog pin A0, and that will be an unsigned int log val, and that's going to be a 0 to 1023 value. Once we have that, we're just going to do a serial.print line with that log val and send that back to the computer. So this is a real simple way to have your, your sketch that either will grab a value on request or it will send you the name of the sketch and whatever text you want to include with that to tell you what the sketch does. So now I've already uploaded this to the Arduino, and let's take a look at the serial monitor and see what happens. So here's the serial monitor, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it a C command, and you can see it feeds back this information about what the sketch name is and what it does. And then I can feed it an L command, and it's reading the 0 to 1023 value off the A0 pin. So pretty straightforward. So that's a great way to make life a whole lot easier so you can find out what's on the sketch. And you can also add to this. So for example, if you want to not only gather data on request, you can also set this up so that in this loop, it will automatically grab data every half second or whatever. So this is a very simple way to get that information. Um, that's about it for this one. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.